Hello friends, today we are going to configure DHCP server on H3C switch. Here we have two PCs, PC3, PC5 in VLAN 10 and we have two PC, PC6 and PC4 in VLAN 20. We will create two VLANs in this switch and we will assign different DHCP servers for both of the VLANs. Let's start our configuration here. System view. Let me magnify here. We have system view. Now we can change our system's name, host name. switch one now we will configure two vlans vlan 10 and vlan 20 let's start vlan 10 name hr department second vlan vlan 20 name it department we will assign first five ports of the switch to vlan 10 and second five ports of the switch to vlan 20 let's start interface range gig interface range gigabit one only one two gigabit Switch uh, port link type access port access VLAN 10. Similarly, interface range gigabit second five ports six to gigabit. 10 port link type access port access VLAN 20 now we will configure two DHCP servers first we will enable DHCP service on this switch in, a, in order to enable DHCP service, we have command DHCP enable. Now DHCP server IP pool um, HR. We will define the network for HR. We let's say we sign network network 192.168.10.0 mask 255.255.2.0 gateway list 10 dot 1 mm. address range 192.168.50 uh, 10.50 192.168 10.100 
this command will help us to assign 50 IPs from DHCP server to the end clients. We have configured one DHCP server here. Now we will configure the second one DHCP server IP pool IT. network 192.168.20.0 mask 255.255.255.0 gateway list 192.168.20.1 address range will be 192.168.20.1 52192168.20.100 Now let's connect these end systems to the switch. I connected PC3 with port 1 of the switch. Similarly, PC5 with the second port of the switch. These two PCs will be connected in the second five ports of the switch. We will enable DHCP service on the switch as well. It will get IP address from the switch. Enable DHCP and apply. Config. Enable DHCP and apply. Enable DHCP and apply. Now let's check. Still, let's no IP yet. We enabled DHCP service. We created two VLANs VLAN 10 and VLAN 20. DHCP server for VLAN 10 is with network 192.168.10.0 and gateway list 192.168.10.1. Address range will be applicable from 50 to 100 IPs. Okay, let's check the state of our end users. No IP yet. We did 
didn't configure the SVIs for these two networks that is why we are unable to get the IP addresses from the DHCP server so now we will configure the virtual interfaces for VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 ok interface VLAN interface 10 IP address 192.168.10.1 which will be the IP address of our DHCP server similarly interface VLAN interface 20 IP address 192.168.20.1 Now let's check. I hope this time our end hosts will be able to get the IP addresses from their respective DHCP servers. Still no IP addresses. Here you can see our this host has acquired an IP address from the DHCP server 192.168.10.51 This one has also been assigned by the DHCP server an IP address 192.168.20.51 this is 50 this is 10.50 you can see that the IP address range started from the 10.50 and 20.50 and both the uh, in fact uh, fourth of these uh, end users are and getting their IP addresses from the DHCP server. I hope you have understood the topology and the configuration of this DH, uh, this uh, scenario. If you have any question, you can ask me in the comments. Thank you.